What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. So today we are going to fix something that is breaking or has been breaking and has been going out on the RV. Some of you have had it happen and some of you haven't and we got told by a good friend of ours, Brady from Drifting Dixie that he will not come to our RV until we fix the disco light. And if you don't know what the disco light is, it's when these LEDs start going out and it starts blinking like that. As you can see, we have tape, because imagine this thing. Well, doing that, there you go. So the LED in there is going out. Let's fix it, because apparently I've already broken it again. All right, so let's show you what we got going on. So since I broke this already. As you can see, we put some, Renee actually put some Gorilla Tape so we don't get blinded and have a seizure. But basically what it is, is this puck light here. You have your simple positive and negative, and then you have here what's called the mouse trap. So picture this going upside down, these little brackets going in the hole, in the hole. It looks like I'm a wreck. It's in the hole! And basically they clamp down so the roof would be right at this level or the ceiling would be at this level and this clamps down so it doesn't fall down. So what I'm going to do is put my fingers in here, pull down, and as you can see the little clip right here, I'm just going to pull on this side. Now that I can get my fingers on it, I'm just going to push it and it releases it and then boom, mouse trap. And then of course the other side is the same way. These are not twist crimps these are actually uh clamped so what i'm going to do is cut here and that'll leave me a little bit of a splice area so i'm going to cut down here and since we obviously the power's off so since this doesn't work anymore i don't care so while we were at the tamp rv show we saw michael michael the grand design service tech gave us one of these at the tamp rv show this is a four and a half inch uh, mousetrap dome light um, I ordered these off of Amazon, which is just a bunch of wire nuts. And if you don't have these in all sizes, you definitely need to get a pack. And of course, when that one went out, we came home after the RV show and this one came out. And we didn't tape it. I just said, screw it. And I cut it. So now I have dangling lights and I had to order more. So I will put a link on Amazon down below where you can order lights. So now I have one for each here and then a spare just in case another one decides to go out. All right, so pretty simple guys, just match up the colors, you know, black to black. I'm gonna do the old school twisty way. And then of course the wire nut. And then I'll wrap that with black tape just to secure it up there. Put the wire nut on. And then Bah. We got them spliced in, I got them taped up. So basically I'm just gonna stuff all this back in. Now the trick, is what Michael told me, put one of these in first, just like that. And then the second one is the harder one. Put it up in there and boom. Just like that guys, bam. Light. and it's not blinking and we're not getting into a seizure so let's do the second one so again i stripped the ends i'm just going to match the colors black to black white to white make it easy a little wire nut and guys you want to make sure you're staying tuned and subscribed because we got some pretty big news coming up here soon something that's going to help the rv community all right, let's flip the switch and see what happens. Yay. We have light. All right, so that was pretty awesome, pretty easy. Took longer to set up and film than it did to actually install them. So just to let you know, there is gonna be a link down below where you can uh, get those little four and a half inch puck lights. And just to let you know, there are smaller ones. I think they're two inch lights that are over the couch in the rear. So just make sure you verify your size. But other than that, thanks for watching the install of the replacement of your LED puck lights. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Again, we're still at 80% people watching our videos. 
are not hitting that like and or subscribe button, guys. So go ahead and do that for us. So thanks again for watching. From nice, warm Florida, finally got this cold snap over. We are out of here. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>